deception is an illusion. It's misleading. The definition of, of deception is an illusion. Misleading. Thank you for your obedience. Now, um, if you ever noticed, a lot of the world and a lot of Christians, and especially Christians, how many Christians do we have in here? Raise your hand. A lot of Christians in, in, in this world are being deceived, misled, walking in illusion instead of walking in reality. I observe worship, and I don't look, I don't, I ain't God. I, I want to go to heaven too. How many I want to go to heaven? I don't, I don't judge nobody. But the Bible says you shall know of the Christians by their fruit that they bear. So what are you talking about, Jeremiah? The way you conduct yourself, the way you act, the way you talk. I can tell whether you're a Christian or not by the way you treat me. I don't need, I don't need you to go through no, no long. I'm saying, hold on, I go to Booker like a Baptist church. I go to Snot about, I know, blah, blah, blah. I don't need all that. You know what I need? I need the life. Us Christians have 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 walked in ooh, ignorant, uh, 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 stupidity for so long, and allowing the enemy to deceive us to think we to, to make us think that fornication, adultery, having sex in the mind, lusting is all right. But I come to tell you, as a true man of God and as a true prophet of God, what the Bible said is not all right. It's not all right to cuss. Let's go there. Let's go there. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Read, Josh. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Stop. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. What is corrupt com com communication? The F word. The S word. Even the D word, when well, you use it out of context. So, how many of y'all have seen the Christian come to you and say, oh, I'm saved. Man, let's go to church. Girl, let's go to church. Hallelujah. Ha hey, hallelujah. <laughs> but then you see them cheating on their test. Do you know what that does to a worldly person? Do you know what that does to a worldly person? Make some things all right. Then make some lose faith in the person we have faith in as Christians. Oh, they, they are fake Christians. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of people coming and, make, and making, making suggestions that, oh, he a fake Christian. No. No. Okay, I'm so tired of some young ladies thinking that all men are dogs. I beg you different because I'm not a dog. Sometimes we allow deception to creep in to make us think, hey, I, Jeremiah, you're he, he supposed to preach some nice stuff. I'm going to preach some nice stuff in a minute. You know, you're supposed to make us feel good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. You know how you're gonna feel good? It's just like it's just like me telling you, it's just like me telling you, uh uh uh, uh I, it's just like me giving Terrence Ford, if he had a flu, if he had the flu, yeah, how many of y'all had the flu before? If he had the flu, what it look like I'm just giving him the medicine he never take it. Is he gonna be healed from his flu? Okay, that's just like me pumping you up and never and never dealing with your inside, never dealing with the the source source of your pain, the source of your deception. Deception. Do you know why this room ain't filled? Deception. 90% of this campus think all ministries are here on this campus. All we do is get together and be some social people and uh, tell, tell them people what they can't do, tell them people what they're doing wrong, tell them the, 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 it's boring. I don't like praise and worship. Oh, I the praise and worship too long. Oh, what is he going to sit out because he's talking too much? Oh, oh, Y'all don't worship right. How are you supposed to worship? How, how are you supposed to worship, Jeff? I mean, uh, Josh, I say James. It, it, it be it be crazy, Misty. That I tell you, uh, you don't you don't you don't need to say. But if so, Misty what? The same never say, <laughs> right? Amen. I ain't gonna call her right now. If 
she wanted so I ain't gonna do a thing. But we allow Christians, us Christians, come on guys, us Christians, us Christians have walked as walking, have walked in this deception all their life. And thinking that we don't need to fast and pray. How many of y'all fast and pray in here? That we don't, that we don't need to, we don't need to get before God every day. God is not a Sunday God. God is not a Wednesday God. God is not every second, every millisecond God. He never sleeps. He never slumps. When you sleep and he look, look at my boy. <laughs> look at my daughter. What? <coughs> I just want to kick a blessing on you. Yeah. Yeah. He never sleeps and never slumps. So he never, he never get tired of blessing you. How many of y'all sitting in here? Guess what? Guess what? In the midst of your sin, he's still blessing you. Somebody ask me how I know. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. In the midst of your sin, I just said a few minutes ago, the Lord gives you the ability to do your sin. <laughs> Whether it's slap somebody. How many of y'all brothers like to fight in here? You like to fight? Somebody lying. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Not like this. I mean like with your mouth. All day. <laughs> All day. If somebody stop pushing you, somebody stop pushing y'all do that high school stuff. Come on, say, oh, come on. You, know, so, you, walk around, you, walk, you walk around, you walk around for an hour, it don't do that. <laughs> oh my goodness, how I get there. So it's very important, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you how deception creeps in. I'm gonna show you how this deception creeps in. Let's go, let's go to the scripture. Woo! First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt. Hey, people. be not deceived. Be not deceived. We're talking about deception. Making you making you uh, 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 believe the untrue is true. Making you believe untrue is true. Okay, okay. Give me that marker. Give me that marker. Oh, help me out. Write two plus two. <laughs> Bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Equals three. Is that right? No. Why isn't that right? Why? Why is two plus two not three? Oh, why is two plus two three? Excuse me. Okay, erase three and put three and a half. Is that correct? No. <laughs> Woo! You know what the Lord showed me right now? This is how some worldly people and some Christians are walking in. They're walking in half, almost truth. What is two plus two? Four. Uh, if you're from the night wall, you say thought. Thought. I mean four. And a lot of us walk in this truth. And notice what I just said. Notice words that just, it just came out my mouth. Walk in that truth. Who made this truth? Somebody just decided that two plus two should equal something different. Somebody's doctrine. Somebody's deceptiveness anointing. Did y'all hear what I just said? Deceptiveness anointing. I know I just made up the words right there. Deceptive anointing. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Josh. <laughs> and a lot of us walk day to day. You go to your class and you're being deceived by evil communication. You're, you're gossiping with your girlfriend. You're being deceived. You're being deceived. How are you being deceived? You think gossip is all right. You think complaining is all right, but I come to tell you, gossiping and complaining is not of God. That's a sin. That's a sin. Can I just reveal the truth to you? Gossiping and complaining about your life is a sin. You know what? You know what gossiping and complaining about does to your life? Makes it worse. But but we believe, we believe half truth. We believe half truth. Two plus two is not three and a half, it's four. And but a lot of times we believe half to because of what somebody said to us. You, you know why some uh, a young, young girl don't believe she's beautiful? Because somebody convinced her that she wasn't beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm preaching. 
if somebody deceive her, then they think, oh, you're not beautiful. But treat her like, like trash. Go, uh, uh, leave them at the date. Oh, we're going to the movies. And all of the girls show up and nobody. Oh, we got some punks out there that beat women. Yeah, I said it. They're punks. Because sit no man, no man should be putting your hand on no woman. And it's vice versa. Because they got some women out there we beating people. Uh, men's butt. But we 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 walk in this truth. The truth the the, the, the truth that it's alright. It's 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 alright that to go to church. But the Bible says, forsake not the assembly of your brethren. Hebrews. Come on now, read your Bible. The Bible says, oh mm, mm. it's you know, you know, oh, oh, you don't have to pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. What does the word cease mean? What the word Nazis mean? What does that mean? Don't stop. <clears throat> well, so we walk in deception by evil communication. You know why we walk in evil communication? Because we never put anything godly. Know what I just said? I didn't say put anything positive because positive is according to what you think is positive. But godly, godliness is the word of God. Guess what? Guess what? Can I tell you a secret? I know a multi, uh, multiple people here, your flesh is not enjoying this message. Your flesh, your outside is not enjoying this message. It's not. Because we've been de 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 deceived that we got to go in church to get, to get filled up with excitement. Then we leave and we broke down again. But truth is, come to church and get empowerment. Empowerment is not, oh my gosh, empowerment is not comfortable all the time. Oh God, I, okay. Okay. Get right here. Okay, here we go. Get in the push up position. Go down. Go down. How many of you ever did push-ups before? Does it hurt? Go down. Why does it hurt? Because your body is resisting. Your muscles aren't used to it. Your, your, your muscles aren't used to it. Okay. There's a resistance to your body. And hold it. Huh? Your muscles ain't used to it. Okay, I'm tired. Alright, here we go. Now, now, I just show you an example. One push up Doing push-ups. Oh, you can get up there. I'll just show you doing push-ups. Now, now, truth is, truth is, if you haven't did push-ups all your life and you try to do push-ups, it's gonna hurt. Let me go this way with it. I just said to you that the way empowerment, empowerment is painful sometimes. Why do you do push-ups to build your muscle? Translate it. To be empowered. To get empowered. To empower your muscles. And your first time, and your first time doing push-ups, it, it's hurt, right? Especially you go a day after you do the push-ups, and you, you lay in the bed like this. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. Thank you. You, you got big gay all over you? I said, big <laughs> So why is it we exercise and don't complain about the, oh gosh, yeah, we complain about it. Why is it, why is it we exercise, we at the gym, and we know what we're going to suffer after we get out of the gym? We, oh, we going to the gym, oh my God, I'm going to exercise, hallelujah, woo, I'm going to exercise, woo, woo, skip, you skip in the gym, everything, you want to, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you know, you know, you know, you're doing whatever you're doing, you know, you just, I, I ain't getting the workout in it. All right, you know, you're just doing everything. You, you, you. And then you walk out of the gym like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't breathe. Can you breathe? Breathe, 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 breathe. Oh, my gosh. Hallelujah. How you doing, Nathan? You tall. You know? We all out of breath. We tired. But then, but then we don't complain about going to the gym because we can see the results. 
But why is it Christians complaining about services? Complaining about going to church? I complain about, complain about coming to ministries like this. Or walking in deception. Oh, all the way, all the, all the way, all the way we can have churches, we gotta be at a church. Or wherever your home church is, how you cutting your church? Praise the Lord. You go to your church, hallelujah, have, have a good time. But what happens when you can't go to your church? How about when you're in your apartment? You gonna have church? How about when you're in your dorm room? You gonna have church? Huh? How about when you go through your worst worst day ever? You gonna have church? And now let's not predicate church on, oh, I gotta have somebody do praise and worship. Do your own praise and worship. Oh, I gotta have somebody to preach to me. Preach to yourself. You, you know, you know, I, I do a lot of preaching, praise the Lord. Thank God for the gift. But do you know I preach to myself? I be, but I be in the morning, I be like, all right, the dude. Look, I don't call myself a little dude, you know. Little boy, you gonna do this today? You gonna be successful? You gonna go to this biology class? You gonna make an A in it? Okay. Hallelujah. All right. You gonna go to this? You gonna go to this physical science class? Yeah, I'm taking physical science and biology. Praise the Lord. Okay. You know, you gonna be successful. So why is it that I gotta come to you? Why is it I gotta come to you and say, yeah, you gonna be successful, Josh? Josh to, to tell you know what Josh will tell me? I know. I know. Say I know. I know. Say I know this man. I know this man. All right. Say all right. All right. You got you got you got move your head. All right. All right. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's evil communication. Evil communication. You know. Notice why I, I say that every person, every person, when they want to change their life, change your surroundings. Change the surroundings. Don't be ashamed to sit by yourself sometimes. We get so caught up in walking that deception that you got to have friends. You ain't got to have friends. You can be by yourself, have a communication with God. Say, God, I love you. He tell you back, I love you too. You know, there ain't no game, there ain't no funny thing. Come on, you. come on, come on, guys. And you know, and I, I see, I see, I see people's spirits. I don't see your now. When you say, "How you doing?" I, I said, "How you doing, sis?" I'm, 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 I'm all right. No. I see your spirit. Your spirit look like jack up. <laughs> jack toe up and the flow up. Your, your friend's doing this, but your spirit's like this. I need water. I need water. The Bible says he's a living word. Huh, come on. He's a living water. Huh? <laughs> and your spirit, who, 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 yeah. <laughs> you want some too? You know? You know? You know, the water get all over you. You know, I would throw this up like this, but I need, I need. Mean, I mean. <laughs> when, 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 when we treat food like we do, we go to the cafe, we go to the student center, let's treat God like that. I need God. Evil communication. Communication is not by, just by this. It's what you do. It's what you do. Yes, do I feel like whooping somebody sometimes? Yup. Yeah. yeah. Should I be, come on. Woo. Boy, if I went save the field with the Holy Ghost, the Lord be saying, no, go to class. All right. I know y'all sometimes y'all want to whoop your professors because they give you the wrong grade. Come on. I know. I'm a college student too. I know. You can sit down back here. Be like, that boy will be. Deception. Evil communication corrupts good matter. How many y'all pray in here? How many y'all pray on a daily basis? I'm not talking just, just praying when something bad happens, because that's conditional prayers. Prayers. You only pray when something's good happens. Oh, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, oh, hallelujah! But how about how about praying praying to God and praising God like going crazy when your mom dies? How about praising God crazy when your dad dies? How about praising God when they say you can't finish your degree on this campus? And you have nowhere else to go. How about praising God even more crazy? The world has been deceived by Christians. They think when we go to church, we got to do, do just enough. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, this number. Oh, this number. 
you on the spotlight, so you got to do everything. So let, me, let me just show off. We don't want to see you. <laughs> I don't got to come and see me because I can't give you nothing. <laughs> Why do you think God uses everybody in this ministry? Because I'm nobody. Without God, if he, oh God, if God says put up a baby in front of these, in front of y'all and let them preach, I'll do it. God use a donkey. God use a crock to crow to tell people, come on. And, and, he loves, and this, this is an out of the box month. God is using something out of the box. Taking your mind out of the box. Taking your mind out of your, out of your denomination. Out of, your, out of your comfort zone. You used to worship God like this, but what if God said, just lift your hands? You, we, we look around. I don't want nobody to watch me. Guess what? Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? They're going to be watching in judgment. <laughs> did, I, did I just say something crazy? They're going to be watching you in judgment. When you go before Jesus Christ, how you doing? I'm, I'm going to go before God crazy. What's up, God? Yo! Whoa! I've been waiting all my life to see you. Apart from me. You see me? I see you. You see me? Apart from me. I be saying, what's up? What's up, man? Before you even say anything, I just, I, you look so good. You look so, you look so righteous. Hasha haba. Y'all think I'm playing my go. I ain't scared. <laughs> and I'm gonna be I'm gonna get serious then we're like, alright. Whoo, Father, come on. Uh, alright. Good, good, alright, good. My faithful son. Oh, Sean Double, he said faithful. Make sure he say that first when you start getting faithful. Faithful. I think that faithful. 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 Oh my yeah, goodness. Let me go on because I stay there all night. Now, now, now get it. Second Timothy. Chapter two. Okay, thank you, God. Let's go to verse 15. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Read. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Snap, now, now get this. Now get this. There's a lot of babbling going on about the Bible. A lot of. This ain't true. That's true. This is. Well, you know what I want to be true? Jesus. That's what I want to be true. G is Jesus true? Is he really in existence? Is he really God? Is he really God's son? Is he really going to judge me? Is, does he really care for me? Does he really wake me up in the morning? Does he really give me food to put in my mouth? And so, so he just says study. He just says study. We are college students in here. We know how to study, but sometimes we don't study the right things. We study people's attitudes. And then whatever you study, you pick up. Whatever. Whatever you study, it becomes a part of you. You have a, you have a, one, you know, one, two, one of your classes, whatever it is, math, reading, reading, writing, whatever, and you got out of your class, and you were just talking to one of your friends, and all of a sudden what, what, what the teacher said in class came out of your mouth, and you didn't realize it? Because what that teacher taught you became a part of you. It became a part of you. You should start, oh, you know, illusion. Okay, all right, two plus two is four. Okay, two B plus two B C one two. You know, just start coming at you. And, and this, the scriptures just say, uh, 2 Timothy 2 15 says, study that show thyself approved unto God, a workman. Which means, don't stop living. Christians, can I tell you a secret? Stop living for other Christians. Stop living for your hero. Stop living for your mentor. Stop living for your pastor. Live for God. Because at the end of the day, your mentor, your mom, and your daddy, your sister, your brother, your dog, your enemy, your cat, your house, whatever. And not your house. It's going to be judged by Jesus Christ. They're going to be in the same line. Oh, I hope. Because you know I'm going to be on the right hand of God. <laughs> That's what people that read their Bible. I'm going to be on the right hand of God because, you know, the sheep going to be on, the, on his right and the goat going to be on the left. Ain't that right there? Right, left. I'm going to be on the right. I'm going to be like, 
Off East Face Face Network. I'm going to get in the ring. All right. <laughs> All right. Read on. Read on. Study this shot. Read the next verse. But shun profane and vain babbling. Hey, don't have nothing to do with babbling. Vain, vain talk. People that's talking about the Bible and don't even study it. How can you talk about something that you don't study? Okay, let me say this. Thank you, God. How can you talk about something accurately when you don't study it? Oh, I don't think that's in the Bible. I think, I think that, well, tell me what you think. Tell me what the Bible says. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear what no preacher thinks. I want to hear what the, what the Lord says. What did the Lord say in this Bible? And that's what a lot of, oh my goodness, that's what a lot of Christians are doing. A lot of preachers, Christians, are deceiving Christians because they, they tell what they think and not what God said. Right here. And the only way you're going to know what God says is study. Reading, I'll say this all the time, reading and studying is two different things. Reading is for comprehension and studying is for revelation. Because, mm, Thank you, God. God told me this earlier today. He says, I want my people to have prayer and study at the same level. He says, I want, I want prayer and studying the Bible at the same level. You know, you, you ever know somebody say, um, say, how's your relationship with God? Yeah, I pray and stuff. The first thing is prayer. But nobody ever tells me study. How much you study? Oh, I don't read the Bible that much. Okay. It reminds you, I don't judge nobody. I help you. I help you. Help front of your growth in God. We help us to one another. If you find your brother in the fall, tell him, hey, brother, you know, you, you got to do this, you know. Just come on. You know. I love you. Praise the Lord. I love you. Like this. Hey, uh, help your brother. Help your sister. Within boundaries. Because you can't help a sister too much. Okay? Can you come to my house? No, I'm not coming to your house to get that right. No. Get, get your own shotgun to shoot you. Okay? You know? All right. That was a little joke. All right. But, but, but Sean uh, profane and vain babbling, people don't know what they're talking about. Oh, 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 God didn't really say that. It's, you know, drinking is okay. Smoking is okay. Not studying your Bible is okay. You know, you don't have to pray all every day. <laughs> what the heck? You, you can skip class. Oh, you, you pay for something, you skip it. Oh my gosh. How many of y'all want to waste your money? How many of y'all want to waste your money? Okay, go to class. <laughs> all right. For they will increase in more ungodliness. They will increase in more ungodliness. These vain battles that you hear people talking about, people arguing about the Bible, you should never argue about the Bible. I repeat, you should never argue about the Bible. You should never what what argue about the Bible. You should never, never what never. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to be like Josh. All right, you know, you should never argue about the Bible. If so, just because nobody believes like you do, don't mean you got to get in an argument. You should say, sister or brother, okay, you believe that way? All right, praise the Lord. I respect your belief. But do you believe in Jesus? Okay, all right. Make sure you believe in Jesus. You believe he's the son of God, he died for your sins, he rose from the earth. Right? Okay, we do. We, we cool. We cool. It don't, it don't do me no good. If, 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 if Nathan believes in, in chicken and wings and I don't, 